Hey, hey, here with Easy Jeezy. We're out in the garage today. And uh, we had just changed the oil here, I guess it was last week. And I didn't, the engine was warm. I always like to change my oil when the engine's warm. So I didn't uh, check the valves. And I haven't looked at them since I went on that uh, trip to Michigan, which was over 3,000 miles. So I thought I figured it would be a good time to do it. Now, what I did is leave the car in neutral, emergency brake on and uh, brought the flywheel up to top dead center. I've got a little mark for top dead center and bottom dead center. And it really doesn't make any difference where you start from. Uh, I always pull the distributor cap off. Now you can see with this uh, Baja exhaust, it's kind of a, a real trick sometimes to see uh, where the case halves are and where your marks and things are, but uh, we'll get her done. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, just sort of See where I started from. I've showed you guys this before, but uh, I don't care what cylinder it's on. But it is. It does happen to be facing towards number one. So I'm just going to put the the cap back on so I don't forget it right now. And I probably need two hands to do that. I'm going to put the camera on the uh, uh, stand over here. And uh, I'll have you looking over my shoulder. I think I'll just go ahead and take both valve covers off just to speed it up. And then I'll uh, kind of let you look over my shoulder and I'll turn you back on. Okay, here we go. So I'll pop both valve covers off. <clears throat> and I got it at, on, uh, <clears throat> looks like I got it on number one. And I got those, uh, oh, I don't know what you call them. They're not the stock rockers. They're the, uh, the little... Elephant feet, the balls with the flat spots on them. I don't really like those. But you can't get the, uh, I like the Gene Berg style. But the, the ones that are available now. Okay. Now, six thousandths on the exhaust. And. I set them at six for the trip. A lot of times I, I like to just have them uh, four, and uh, it's it's just snug. So didn't need didn't need any adjustment. Now a lot of times you can I can get on the crankshaft from the bottom here, but I got a wrench on the generator pulley, and we're gonna see if we can turn this puppy over. I go backwards. I don't go like everybody else does, and I don't want this uh, nut coming loose, but I like to just go one, two, three, four, and, and get both of them on the same side as long as I'm working on one side. Get it done. And cylinder one, which is on the rear, was just dandy. So let's see what number two is. You know, now these are stock heads, stock valve heads. With stock size steel uh, valves. And, uh, oh, sweet. <laughs> so we don't have to make. Now, there's a 3,000 mile trip for you. A lot of it, most of it all on the highway, on the interstate. And the, uh, the si no signs of the uh, uh, valve cover gasket leaking. So I'm just going to. Wipe off the cork and put the valve cover right back on. And this side's already done. And I thought this was going to be a long video. Okay. So, there we go. Now we'll move over to the other side. Let me uh, reset up the camera here. And uh, maybe we'll have just as good a look on that side. Sorry about the shaky cam. How's that? Okay. So, we'll try this side. Now, we've got to rotate the engine. <sighs> Almost screwed up there. Almost forgot that, huh? Okay. So, I'm going counterclockwise. One half of a crankshaft revolution. Looking for my line. Everything's kind of got a little bit of rust on it here. Okay, got zero at the top, so we did one, two, and we'll go to the back one, which is three. Helps if you're ambidextrous, 
and do a little yoga. Wow, I love it. Exhaust on three is good. Ha! Now that's incredible. I did adjust it when I was in Michigan. I don't know if I really, I didn't say anything about that. I wanted to check them because we had just changed these heads and a lot of times the first, uh, you know, first thousand miles. And as I recall, they didn't really need a tension, but I did it. So now I'm turning it counterclockwise and we'll check. Uh, last cylinder number four. Now, let me get this done. Okay. When you use these uh, aftermarket uh, adjusters, all right, this thing feels good. It's just a nice, smooth uh, feel, not too tight, not too loose. And a little bit of oil did drip out of the valve, and I caught it in the valve cover. So this is probably going to make a mess. But let's see if we can get her back on there fast. Okay, kind of move it around. Make sure you got her where you need her. You need a screwdriver or something? Okay, there we go. Now we put our distributor back on. So it's done. And however long it takes this video, this is real time. That's all it takes to check your valve adjustments. In this case, it was quick because we didn't need any to adjust anything. Now, another point I want to make. I'm using heavy duty springs and as an experiment, I'm using a stock aluminum push rods. You have to make sure they're the right length and this turned out to be the right length because I have a little space underneath there. But when you have those, uh, I'm going to call them the elephant foot uh, adjusters, that takes up a little space. Normally you'd have to put shims underneath the rocker arm stands. But in this case, I spent a lot of time with it trying to get the compression where I wanted it. And as this isn't the stock cam, but it's a very, very, very mild cam. It's not like a, uh, an Engel 110. Uh, I believe it's the uh, CB Performance 2239. And uh, it runs fantastic. I love the way it goes. And these are the cheap cheapest Chinese heads that I could find. They did the trip just fine and they got the stainless steel that makes power. It's real good. Uh, one other comment I wanted to make. Somebody had said something about they were going to adjust their valves when the motor was at running temperature. Full, fully heated up. And they thought if they just got it, didn't use a feeler gauge, but got it so they could just turn the rods that they would have a uh, have a super tune type of a thing you know give them a little bit more lift but the valves now I caution you against doing that not that you can't do it if you're gonna spend a week on the sand dunes or if you're uh, got some kind of if you're going to the drag races this weekend they got a swap meet drag race thing where you live and and you just want to go up there that's fine that's fine I got nothing against that whatsoever and as it happened I tried that just to see how much clearance it would make uh, with a stock aluminum push rod and I set them with zero clearance uh, hot and the next day I went out and double checked them just like I did now and lo and behold there was four thousandths clearance on all the valves uh, when the when the engine was cold so there's a little a little uh, information for you and uh, I guess that will just wrap this up and I gotta return a book to the library. I just watched a video from uh, the big VW, and uh, and I encourage you to go over and check him out. I'll put a link down below to his channel. He was out there in Oregon going for a little ride along the Sandy River. I remember that uh, when I was out there visiting. So here you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy, easy. Out.